So hello and welcome back to the second chapter for Diablo 2 Resurrected. Today I'm going to bring you two flower points of the first part of this guide, namely how to grind items and runes in Hell difficulty. If you would like to know how I got here or how I managed to get a sorceress capable of doing so, I can recommend you to go back to the first chapter where I explain how I started from the scratch. Now this is not a professional guide and I'm not intending to make one, but as of today there are several things that if you're a total beginner you should know in order to progress in the game. So without further ado, let's get it started. The first thing that you should know is that for me there are two clear priorities. That means, first off and most importantly, I have to get my sources ready, which means to have enough HP and enough resistances as well. The damage output is important, but you can compensate that with a higher casting rate. After my sorceress was minimally ready, the first thing I wanted to do is to increase the quality of the gear that I was wearing. I started with the Ward and Kiris Guardian, which provides stones of resistances, spirit as an armor and suicide branch as a weapon. And then you can swap the rest of your gear according to your priorities. When I got covered HP, resistances, damage output and casting rate, then you can progressively improve your gear purely with magic find. So even without the perfect gear, I started performing runs in Hell alone with Andrea and Mephisto. You can also try some level 85 areas such as the Forgotten Tunnels in Act 2 or the Mausoleum in Act 1. Other areas might be a little bit more dangerous such as the Pit in Act 1 or the areas in Act 4 and 5, especially with his mother archers. Once you have this in gear, it all depends on what you would like to do next. If you would like to keep grinding items for other characters or keep improving your gear, then magic find is going to be a priority for you. But if you rather grind runes only, then your priority should be damage and casting rate. Under any circumstance, you should sacrifice the survivability of your hero because of magic find or the damage. And it is common knowledge that the optimal magic find is between 200 and 300, being the returns for a higher magic find too low to sacrifice any other aspect of the hero. Right now I'm prioritizing rune grinding, hence I would swap my gear to Mage Fist, 1 or 2 Stone of Jordan, a Manalt, Viper and only during Caverns a Shako instead of Kira's Guardian in order to increase the damage and the casting rate for my sorcerers. My preferred areas at the moment for rune hunting are level 85 areas, cow level runs and the counters of course, but if you have more time I suggest the following mix route both for rune and item grinding. First, you could start in Act 5 to kill the most accessible mini-bosses, and then you could go to Act 3 to the Rins of the Hay to kill Mephisto. As a side note, be super careful with the Undead Dolls and the Council members, which will heal Mephisto if he's in range. After that, you can go to Forgotten Tunnels in Act 2, and then to the Pit in Act 1, followed by the Tower to kill the Countess, and then you can wrap it up with Underreal. When you start and you do not have a lot of magic find, what I would suggest is that you get some perfect topaz in a regular armor and if you do not have a lot of space, keep the Horatic Cube in your inventory to place the armor inside. When you're about to kill the boss, and here I'm talking mostly about the cheesy kill for Mephisto, equip the armor so you have more magic find. Remember that the magic find is considered when you deliver the fatal blow to the enemy and if your mercenary performs a fatal blow, both your magic find and the magic find from your mercenary will count towards the chances to get magic items. Take your time to do the first runs and know how the enemy behaves. I will mention this once again, but I'd rather have a sorceress with high resistances and HP in order not to easily be killed, rather than sacrificing that to get a higher percentage of magic find. What I needed from the beginning is to start doing runs with low magic find and then progressively improve my gear without sacrificing the survivability of my hero. For instance, now my goal is to get the necessary runes to get Chains of Honor or Call to Arms, whichever first, as well as the Tal Rush Amulet. Besides counters and high level enemy areas, remember that you can create runes with your cube and obtain them through the Hellforged quest. After this, I will start performing key grinding and after that hopefully Uvo Diablo, Pal and Mephisto in order to get the Sorcerer's Torch. What you will see in a moment are the results of my most recent grinding. You will see that some of the best items you can get them from regular areas such as the Tal Rasha's Lidless Eye in Act 1. Nevertheless, the best gear and runes that I found was either from the bosses stated before or the high level areas. Unfortunately, rune hunting is based on pure luck. Sometimes you will have a good run with the Countess and sometimes the best runes are going to drop straight from a Devil King next to her. For the items, I'm going to show you some of my drops as well as my recently grinded gear. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and for being there. Like and subscribe if you like the content of the channel. And as always, stay safe these days, play at your own discretion and see you in the next video. Have fun y hasta la próxima.